the grace and the love and the mercy and the compassion of the divine is always abounding powerfully towards his creation, towards his children, no matter who you are, no matter where you are, no matter when you are, the grace and the mercy and the love of the divine is ever seeking you. For anyone, grace of this consciousness and the love of this consciousness could never be described with words. But one thing that I know is that anyone who is far away from this consciousness on opposite spectrums the grace far away from the divine if you are far away from this frequency and you are unable to feel the love that this divine heart has for you let me tell you one thing the grace and the mercy and the compassion toward that creation that is far away from the heart of the divine the grace and the mercy and the compassion and the love is ever more powerful for it is taking more force to get to you because you are farther away you see the ones that are closer to the divine to the divine and the ones that are near to the divine and the ones that are chosen of the divine who look for the divine and who seek the divine and who follow the divine not much power is needed to find you for you are always near to the divine but for those who are far away and can't seem to find their way to the heart of the divine because of life circumstances and situations and karma, past or present, that has placed you into a vibration of lower state. The divine sends out more powerful grace and mercy and compassion towards that creation that can't seem to find its way and seem to be lost. The divine pours more grace. No matter who you are in your circumstances and your situations, no matter when you are or where you are and who you are, whatever you are, in your high state or in your low state, the grace and the mercy and the compassion and the love of the divine is ever abounding upon you his creation the grace and the love and the mercy of the universe and the essence of the divine is ever seeking